Hey everybody, it's Jenna. Welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. As you can tell, I am starting to feel better. My cold is going away. I'm going to make some elderberry syrup because nothing says um, feel better, get better, like making elderberry syrup to cure your symptoms and your issues, you know, at the tail end of your illness. Um, so in a little bit, I'm going to jump in and make that. I'm going to make a video on it, so it'll be cool. Um, but I just, I don't know why I told you guys that. I just feel like maybe you need to know. But I've still got a little bit of a man voice. Um, but yeah. But I stopped at the post office and post off, post office. Slow down, Jenna. All right, yes. I slopped, slopped. Oh my gosh. It is just, it's one of these days. One of these days. I'm in my truck again. And no, I don't live in my truck. Um, I just happened to get back from taking gunner to um where we go sports day they had a very wet football day which was wonderful but um i had the boxes here in the truck and i figured rather than bringing them all in and setting the camera in there and doing it all in there with kevin's home and the kids and the dogs are all in there it's loud it's loud in there and it's quiet out here except for the pitter patter of the cats above the truck um but i'm kind of liking these truck videos they're kind of nice but anyways those are dog blankets back there that i took to the um laundromat to get done because I didn't want dog hair all in my washer. Although I will say at the laundromat, I clean out the washer after I'm done, but they've got those big, huge washers. I can put all the dog blankets and stuff in at once. And so that's really handy. And so I use the one washer, although it's like crazy expensive at the laundromat. I don't know how people afford to do their clothes at the laundromat because it's crazy expensive. Um, I could have almost bought new dog blankets for what I paid for the wash and then the dry there at the laundromat, but that's good. It's all right. They're done. They're clean. And I'm just glad they don't smell like dog anymore. Anyways, we've got a couple openings to do. So we've got two openings to do and then one reverse opening, which means I'm sending it out. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm sending out because it's really cool stuff. So the first opening we have is this little one. And let's see what this is. My husband, and this is from my husband. This is from Kevin. Um, and he said that there was something coming for me in the mail today. And I'm excited to see what came for me in the mail today from my husband. Isn't that sweet? And look at my knife. This is from the Put and Take, handy little utility knife, a uh, little Swiss Army knife from the Put and Take, the world headquarters Put and Take here in Boonville. And the Put and Take, um, you, I think what Put and Take is, is like a barter place. You, you put stuff and you take stuff and you trade stuff. They also deal in small arms. I know you can have your guns delivered there or whatever. Um, and they'll sign for them. Oh, and look, Joanne, I'm wearing my, oh, you can't see them. There you can. I'm wearing my goat socks. Can you see them? Oh, there we go. Wow. I am limber. Look at that. I can get my foot up there. I'm wearing my goat socks and it's got goat facts on the bottom. This is from Joanne Beal, which is awesome. Oh, and I'm wearing my, um, from Brianna, I'm wearing my chicken whisperer shirt. You can't see it. Can you see it now? There we go. Chicken whisperer. Yeah, there we go. So, I am decked out in just uh, subscriber wonderful goodies today. So what did my husband get me? I'm excited. What did Kevin get me? Let's see what Kevin got me. Kevin got me Florida Sun Kiefer. Oh, okay. This isn't that exciting. Oh, it is exciting. Completely exciting. But um, it's not unexpected. I asked him to order me this. <laughs> Kevin's like our little Amazon order. He just, I say, hey, I need this, and he orders it from Amazon. Um, kefir. I did uh, milk kefir for the longest time, and with our goat's milk, raw goat's milk, which was wonderful. But uh, with my allergy, sometimes milk bothers me, sometimes it doesn't. And so I really just stopped doing a lot of the milk kefir. But I've been lately into the uh, water kefir, and so I want to start making my own water kefir. But I needed the kefir starts to do that. So Florida Sun Kiefer, floridasunkiefer.com. Um, I ordered some from them. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to order your own water kefir. And what kefir is, it's a, it's a boost of probiotics. It's that good gut bacteria. Excuse me. And so um, look at those. Oh my gosh, that is a ton. And I got two of these. Yeah, it smells like kefir. Um, that is a ton I am going to be growing kefir till it's coming out of my ears. If anybody wants some kefir, let me know and I can pass some along. Especially if you're local, that might be best. Um, wow, that's a lot of kefir. I'm excited and it's got the directions. So thank you, Kevin, even though I knew it was coming, but that's wonderful. That's still a good little, good little surprise because I had forgotten that I asked him to order that. 
And so, and I've been saving the glass jars. I think I have one here. Yeah, I just drank, I just drank a kefir water today and I just peeled the label off because the labels come off real easy. I've been saving these glass jars and I'm gonna reuse them for my own kefir. I'm gonna add a uh, lemon and some ginger. And so that'll be exciting. I can't get that. I mean, that's huge going in that little bag. I don't know, can you see? There, can you see? Does it make it easy to see when you put your hand behind it? I can't get it back in the bag anyways, it doesn't matter. All right. I don't know why they make things so difficult. Oh, and there's Fluffy. Fluffy always likes to come and hang out with me during my videos. But she tries to come in and be crazy. Um, okay, so where did I put my pocket knife? There it is. So we have a second opening. And let's see. This one was from the post office. If you want to send us anything or send me. I don't know why I always say us. If you want to send me anything. Or the critters. I guess us. If you want to send me or the critters anything. Um, please feel free. And I'll open it on video. And I'll send you something back. In fact, that's what this one of this box I'm going to do here in a second. Is a box I'm sending out to someone that sent us something. Um, if you know of any dog toys. Like soft. I mean, I'm not talking about the rubber Kongs or anything like that. If you know of any dog toys that are indestructible, that are softer, um, made of some sort of fabric or something like that, not just rubber Kongs, um, that are indestructible, let me know. We are looking for um, toys for Buddy, our golden retriever, who just decimates all toys. Uh, we have had to put all the soft toys up, all this plushies, all the things with squeakers, all the tennis balls, everything we have to put up because he gets them and he just chews them up and destroys them. And so Echo and Axel and Nala can't play with wonderful soft toys because Buddy ruins it. Ruins it ruins it so if you find any that you know of send us if you don't mind or tell me send me the link of where i can buy it um but if you want to send anything p.o box um simple hobby home setting or jenna conway at p.o box 91 boonville indiana 47601 and boonville is b-o-o-n-v-i-l-l-e -L -L -E. there's no e in the middle just at the end okay so oh <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Treats, let's read the little note here first though. Um, I always scan it to make sure there's nothing super personal in here. Um, and there's, there's not, this'll be good. Uh, to Jenna of Simple Hobby Homesteading, just a little package for Easter, East, yeah, just a little package for Easter with some treats you may like. Have you tried these white chocolate goodies? Um, I don't know. We'll see in a minute here. Yum. Yeah, yum is good. Thank you for your fern, fern, not fern, probably fun. Thank you for your fun. Okay, just your fun, I guess. Thank you for your fun tips, because there's a comma, so it's not fun tips. It's just fun tips and general amazing outlook on life. Love, Sandra Wilkie. Sandra, Sandra or Sandra? We're going to say Sandra. Sandra? Sure. Sandra Wilkie. And I know Wilkie because um, I knew a guy in high school, Andrew Wilkie. This isn't related to you, is it, Andrew? Andy? We called him Andy. I don't know. Do you go by Andrew now that you're all adult and, and grown up? Um, is this your wife? I don't know. Where do you live now, Andy? Anyways, Sandy. Sandy? Can I call you Sandy? Sandra? We'll call her Sandra because she signed it Sandra. Um, Sandra. Thank you. Miss Wilkie. We'll call you Miss Wilkie because I don't know how you pronounce your first name. All right. These white things. Why are my dogs barking? I don't know. The Pyrenees are alerted to something. Uh, white chocolate M&Ms. Now, right now, dairy is not bothering me. So I can try some white chocolate. White chocolate M&Ms. They look normal on the outside. Oh, you can't see them. I clutched my hand. They look normal on the outside. Can you? Yeah. White chocolate. Mmm. Yum. Ooh, those are white chocolatey. Those are good though. Hmm. Those are yummy. A zero bar. A king size zero bar. I've had these before. They're actually pretty good because they've got the almonds. I love the almond. It's um almond nougat. Caramel, peanut, and almond nougat covered with white fudge. Zero bar king size. Wow, you really love me. All right, I'm not gonna try that right now because I've tried that before. A white twist. I didn't even know. Can you see it? There we go. There's like a glare. I didn't know there was such a thing. A white Twix. Two to go. Two go bars. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try a little bit of this. Because this. Oh, they are white. Ooh, those are long. That's a whole bar. It goes all the way down. I just want to. I just want a bit. Oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you eat a Twix? Oh, there's another dog here. That's not my dog. Look at this. Can you see that? Can you see that dog? That's not my dog. There's a beagle over there. I don't know if you can see with the glare. Can you see that dog over there? 
Yeah, that's not my dog peeing on that stuff right there, marking its territory. Do you see that dog? Oh, really, all you can see now is my Pyrenees. Why is that dog here? That's not... Oh, yeah, it's behind my Pyrenees. Maybe my Pyrenees will move. Yeah, do you see that dog? You guys, that's not my dog. That's our neighbor's dog. I know whose dog that is. That's our neighbor's dog. I don't even know the dog's name, but... <coughs> that's our neighbor's dog. Uh, not our neighbor, not our, our good neighbor, not Phoebe. Um, it's the neighbor up... Um, like at the top of the road, Dallas's wife. Dallas passed away, unfortunately, but it's his wife's dog. It's peeing all over everything. Absolutely peeing on everything. And my Pyrenees, just let it do it. Just let the dog pee on everything. But that's what they alerted to earlier. When we heard that barking, the Pyrenees were alerting that there was a dog here. So, to eat the Twix, first, you eat the caramel off the top. That's first. Mm-hmm. Step one, get rid of the caramel. Mmm, that's good with the white chocolate. Mm-hmm. Then, mm-hmm. Yep, they eat the sides off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Where'd the dog go? I don't know. Then, don't worry about that bottom. You can shove the rest in. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Mm. The dog's back. I see it now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dogs. Random dogs. My Pyrenees is just walking behind it. Like, hey, how you doing? She knows it's not a threat. It doesn't bother our chickens. doesn't bother our goats. doesn't bother our pigs. It's not a threat, which is odd because a lot of, usually beagles kind of go nuts for that stuff. So that's why Fuzzy doesn't care. They've had other dogs here that they've chased away that bother our livestock. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> is there such a thing? I did not know. Limited edition, all pink. <gasps> pink is my favorite. My favorite star. It's like you know me. How do you know me? Have you been watching my videos? Oh, Sandy. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> I'm excited. I love pink starbursts. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I haven't had hardly any sugar today. In fact, I don't think I've had any, like, um, candy today. Mmm. I love pink starburst. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, matches my shirt. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Look at all this, you guys. Peeps. Mmm, mmm. Okay, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do a video testing these peeps. Party, party cake, party cake, going to the party in my car, if you're from Wisconsin, cotton candy, oh, I love cotton candy, oh, that's going to be a good, maybe I should make that the thumbnail, ooh, all right, um, what else is in here, sour watermelon, those might be good, what do you think about those guys, okay, now we're getting weird, the deeper we go, the weirder we get, pancakes and syrup, really, pancakes and syrup okay and then oh and weirder fruit punch <laughs> fruit punch peeps <coughs> excuse me that's weird i need my cough drop i need a cough drop oh my goodness i'm sick of cough drops that's why i need to make that elderberry syrup and then blue raspberry and then oh we must have doubles doubles party cake pancakes and syrup we, she sent two packages of everything. Why two packages of everything? I don't know, but you're sweet. That, that is, you are super sweet, Sandy. That is super duper sweet. I mean, like, literally, that's like tons of sugar. Um, but wow, that's a lot of peeps. A lot of peeps. A lot of peepers. Thank you. You are a cute critter. Cute, cute critter, Miss Sandy. Sandra, Sandra. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to do a video with these probably tomorrow. Should I do a video tomorrow? I'll do one with like the full intro and everything like that. And it will call it a, a peep-tastic, a peep-tastic video. So thank you so much, Sandra. I will be getting you a, a package out um, and as a sampling of what you have to look forward to. I'm back, don't worry. All right, so we did Snack into the States with Alabama, with Jonna Lawrence sent us a ton of Alabama stuff. Um, and that's where we had the boiled peanuts, the pickled okra, those cookies. So she really put some time and effort into that. And so we're sending her a package back. 
and now, excuse me, Jonna has lived in Indiana before, and so she knows a lot of Indiana stuff. And so um, I actually did some Indiana favorites and good stuff. Um, and then I added just a lot of farm stuff and some of my favorite things. So that's what this package is being sent out to her. So first, I'm going to write out one of these notes with these little succulents. Aren't those cute? The cutest little things you've ever seen. Um, so I'm going to write the note in that. And then she's getting a wonderful jar of our organic taco seasoning. It's so good. So that will get her plenty of tacos. And I never send out a box without a clothing item. If you watch any of my FabFitFun box un unboxings, you know that um, I'm a hot mess if I don't get a clothing item in my box. And so she's getting some super soft, like aloe socks, because um, I will never send out a uh, package that doesn't have um, a clothing item in it. So, of course, Juicy Drop gummies. These have become my new crack cocaine. And sometimes they're hard to find. And we've got, we're sending her the organic chili seasoning. Look at that, enough for a batch and a half or so of chili. She is getting the Creole jambalaya recipe. She is getting, um, what all recipes is she getting? Our apple crisp recipe from our video. She's getting our taco seasoning recipe. And she's getting our chili seasoning recipe and chili recipe. So that's really, really cool. She's getting that. And she's getting a hip chick ponytail, bling ponytail uh, hair mask, which is really fun. She's getting these wonderful tear coffee cookies, the Maria cookies, which are so good. She's getting some Indiana black and white popcorn, the Popcorn Indiana yummy drizzle popcorn. She is getting, where is it? Oh my gosh, come on. She's getting our Mrs. Wages pasta excuse me, pasta sauce mix. That's yummy. That's from our spaghetti tips and tricks video, which was really, really fun and really good. All right. What's in here? Oh, okay. This is fun. She is getting a box with a, um, Kinder Joy American Kinder Egg, and then she's getting the actual European Kinder Egg. I'm sending her one of those with some German Kinder chocolates from Germany. These are from Germany and the Kinder, um, Schoko Bonds, which are from Germany. And so she's getting a bunch of that candy in this little box. I put in this little box so that the Kinder Egg doesn't get squished in. So you get the fun, real Kinder Eggs. And she ordered some lotion for a friend of hers. And so her friend is getting this big um, eight ounce bottle of lavender homemade goat's milk lotion. And to save her from shipping, so she didn't have to pay for shipping, I'm just putting it in this box that I'm sending to her so she doesn't have to worry about shipping. So she is getting some Albanese, which is the world's best gummy bears. And these are actually made here in Maryville, Indiana. So that's what's cool. This is from Indiana. And she is getting my favorite Werther's coffee, caramel coffee Werther's, which are my favorite. And she is getting, remember I tried these cookie crusted Oreo mint almonds. She's getting some of those because they were super yummy. And those were a surprise. I didn't think they'd be yummy and they were. What is my ponytail? It's not a ponytail today. I got girly. You guys, I braided it. Can you see the braid? Look at that. I braided it. I got all sorts of girly and I braided my hair. Like literally just a simple braid. Um, she's getting our vanilla coffee, goat's milk soap. And I put these in a bag because they smell nice and strong and they'll make any food products smell like crazy. And so I put them in a Ziploc bag. Um, and you all know I have an infatuation with Ziploc bags. She is getting, oh, let's go. She's getting the two times hot ramen, the insanely spicy ramen. She is getting, oh, this is a fun one. So I'm doing an upcoming, oh, I already filmed it, but I haven't uh, edited it yet edited it yet. Um, the German Haribo uh, gummy bears, little packets of gummy bears from Germany, from legit Germany. And then the American version of the Haribo uh, gummy bears. And what a difference. It's a difference between night and day between the German and the American. And so it's crazy. Um, so, and you all know I've been going nuts over the Mrs. Myers um, products lately. So I'm sending her my favorite cleaner and hand soap of the rosemary, the Mrs. Myers rosemary cleaner and hand soap. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I love it. In fact, my husband even said last night, he said, Hey honey, can you put some of that hand soap that you have down in the kitchen? Can you put that up? By, ah, can you put that up by my sink? And I was just like, Oh, I only have one bottle. No, no, I have another bottle, but yes. So I'm going to put uh, rosemary hand soap up by his sink too, because he loves it. So that's awesome. 
and I'll put that back in there. Um, she is getting also a Muscle Rescue Goat's Milk Soap, which is super fun, super nice. She is getting a That Girl Lotion, and this is our homemade goat's milk lotion. Um, so this smells so good. It's very feminine smelling. It's the best smell ever. That Girl is what I call it. Um, cause it just reminds me of that girl, you know, she just smells so good. And then this is a toothpaste that I'm obsessed with lately. Colgate, the essentials charcoal. This is an amazing toothpaste. I am loving this very natural toothpaste. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm sharing it with everyone that I know because I absolutely love it. This isn't my tube. I'm not sharing my tube. I bought you a brand new tube, Jenna. So, um, and last, oh no, we got two things left. Um, Another goat's milk soap, and this one's my favorite scent of all time, Eucalyptus Spearmint Essential Oils. Phenomenal. I love this scent. It's so good, guys. Um, so that one. And then, of course, our uh, state flower, the Indiana State Flowers, the peony. So we've got some peony and plum hand soap, which is really cool. And I got a bunch of these from Soft Soap because they were an Ibotta deal recently. So... All month, or not all month, I think for like last two or three weeks, I've been buying a bunch of them um, and redeeming them on Ibotta and getting a ton of money back. Oh, congratulations, Carla. This shout out to Carla Matthews. Congratulations on rocking your Ibotta. You, my dear, are getting wonderful with your Ibotta savings. So that box is going to Jana Lawrence. And so and the reason I'm sending her a box is because she sent me a Snacking Through the States box, which was phenomenal. So thank you, Donna, for doing that. If any of you want to send um, a state representing your box, and it's just kind of like either things that are made there, things that are, uh, your state is known for, or even just your favorites. You live in that state, so you get to add in just any of your favorites. Um, and it can be food, it can be um, little knickknacks, or it can be things that hang on the wall, or it can be a t-shirt, whatever you want. I wear a size medium. Whatever you want, um, go for it. Get creative. And then I will, of course, send you a box back because, I mean, that's super fun. It's just fun to get mail. It's just so fun to get mail, um, especially when you're least expecting it. And it's just, it's amazing. But we've got Alabama taken care of. We've got Indiana taken care of. We've got Tennessee, I think, taken care of. I think we've got Kentucky taken care of. Someone's supposed to be sending one from Wisconsin, um, but I haven't gotten it yet. So if you want to beat them to it, you're welcome to. Um, and so, but there's still a lot of states out there. So I want to, even though it's called snacking through the states, maybe I'll change the name because, no, because at least have just one snack in there. Um, just one snack, just one. But yeah, so it's super fun. It's been super fun. But if you want to send anything, it's once again, simple hobby homesteading, PO Box 91, uh, Boonville, Indiana, 4760. One. So that's the address if you want to send anything. And I think that's it, you guys. Uh, we're going to we're gonna wrap it up. This is going to be the video for today. I'll get that peep one. Look at me. I'm like a girl hey, playing with my hair. Just playing with my hair. Uh, we'll get that peep video filmed tomorrow. And I don't know when I'll get it edited, but soon. Um, this week, we're going to have quite a few of just the good edited videos with the, the intro and everything like that. Uh, so you're not getting as many as my vlogs. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you like the vlogs, if you like the everyday seeing me, or if you're just like, it's too much, Jenna, too much. This is too much of you. So you guys have a great day. And remember, do whatever you can with whatever you have, wherever you are. Because homesteading can happen anywhere with anyone and in whatever capacity you want. So you guys have a great day. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. This is always my favorite part. I try to do the off without going like the big rah right in there and getting you. So I try to go in from the side, but you can still see my arm. So I'm always like, eh. So we're just going to go. We're going to do it. Off. <laughs>